Hello, my name's James O'Brien. I'm the Operations Director of iIntro. And what I'd like to talk to you today are the challenges we face when developing our shortlists and keeping candidates engaged through the recruitment process. You see, many of you listening to this today are very familiar with the contingent recruitment process. And candidate engagement is pretty swift. It's sort of, you know, fast moving, you know, get them in, get the CV across to the client, and hopefully arrange the interview as quickly as possible. Well, that's all well and good when you're in a race. Um, but when you're actually delivering consultative, retained recruitment, actually it's a very different ball game that you need to engage in. It really starts from the moment you actually take the brief with the client. Because the expectation there is you're now running this as a campaign, as a project. It's not about every time you find somebody, you know, roll the candidate forward through to the client. It's about committing the client to a schedule. And by putting in place a schedule of when the client will do their interviewing means that you can manage your engagement process with your candidates. Of course, you know, if you've got a four week process, you're going to meet somebody on day one or day two and yet they're not going to get interviewed for three to four weeks. How do you keep them engaged in the process? Well, you do it through clear communications. One of the be very best tools that we use is we use something called a candidate briefing pack. The candidate briefing pack is like the job description on steroids. Yeah, It's got a lot more information in there. It keeps the candidate engaged, shows them that they're dealing with a professional organisation, not just you as the recruiter, but the employing organisation. And it clearly uh, educates them on what's going to be required. You know, of course, the job description, but what's the process they're going to go through? When are the interviews going to take place? Now, what this does, when the interviews are you know, days and weeks in advance, it means that the candidate can actually schedule some time off without it looking suspicious. Oh, I've got to take an afternoon off, boss. Yeah, so they actually have a bit more time to plan some time to attend the interview and prepare for it fully. So what we do is we engage the candidate with our candidate briefing pack. The candidate briefing pack determines the process over the coming days and weeks before the actual interview uh, takes place. What this means is you've got a clear line of communication with the candidate about what's happening and when. Now, the fear amongst contingent recruiters is, oh, what if it's a really good candidate and they've got another job? Well, guess what? They've got another job. Well, the reality is, if you've sold this vacancy, if this vacancy is the right career move for that individual, they will wait two or three weeks for the interview. Now, of course, some people are going to be waiting two or three weeks for their interview. Some people, it's just going to be a few days because you'll find them towards the end of your search process. Well, that's again, you're going to take them through the process, but you're going to speed them up a little bit. But what you do is you make sure you have a regular communication line with them. You talk to them every week. But actually what we do is over those three or four weeks that we're waiting for their interview, we actually help them build their profile. We help position them so that they actually can portray themselves in the best light for the employer to give themselves the best chance of actually getting the job. Now, when we put together shortlists, our idea is to put together three or four candidates. And so what we're able to do with candidates that we've engaged and shortlisted, we're telling them that they're actually one of three or four people for the role only. So they have a one in three or a one in four chance of actually successfully getting the role. So that keeps them you know, interested in the opportunity, presuming all of the hygiene factors are all in the right place, the salary, the location, all of those important things, they're all there. The candidate will wake will wait sorry so what you make sure you do is you keep a clear line of communication you share with them all the information you have you talk them through who the client is you prepare them you get them to build their profile and then you set them up for the interview now by the time they actually get in for the interview they're fully au fait with the company they've done all of their research they've had plenty of time to prepare for it and it's not a rush job it isn't a rush job like it is with a contingent where you sent the cv over this morning and you're arranging an interview this afternoon yes we know clients want people to start as soon as possible. But the reality is when you're delivering retained recruitment service, you manage a project on behalf of the client. You give clear timelines, clear timelines to everybody, including your candidates. Candidates appreciate that really well because they know where they stand. You know, you're going to be uh, a good person. You're going to do what you say you're going to do. You're going to get back in touch with them. You're not going to leave them hanging. You're going to handle it like a prof the professional that you are. So. Managing candidates on a consultative basis means that candidates actually respect you more, you become more recognised as one of the good guys, uh, and that leads to future business for you further down the line. Not just from the candidates you place, but actually from the candidates who you don't place, but really look well after. Think about it. 
Uh, you know, how well do candidates respect you at this moment in time? Or how well, let's put it a little bit broader, how well do they respect the recruitment industry? Don't believe me? Go onto Google and type in these two words. Recruiters are. The, you know, the, the results are eye-opening there. We don't have a great, uh, uh, you know, feedback from our community. So let's make sure that we as consultative recruiters put in a top class service, open lines of communication, share with them all the information. And if you do that, candidates will come back for more time and time again. And eventually they'll bring you back business because candidates are just clients in transition. I hope you enjoyed today. If you think we can help you, please do get in touch with either myself or one of my colleagues where we'll actually share with you a bit more about how iIntro can help you transform your business. We look forward to hearing from you. Please click on the link below and we'll see you soon.